Ahoj, krásné studentky a krásní studenti. I have a suggestion for today's lesson. You will create a custom Czech vocabulary based on associations. Now, why custom? Because it will match your personality and your interests. And why based on associations? Because three associations help increase memory. And memory is what we are after when we are learning a new language. How will you do it? What will you need? You will need a diary, six minutes and a curious mind. A diary, it can be an e-diary. I would prefer you take a simple material, old, outdated, but concrete paper diary or planner. It's tactile, it's dimensional, it is here. You don't need anything to open it, just the will. And there is a pleasure of writing, a pleasure which is being a bit lost. And of course, you will select a proper tool for writing. More about that later. What are the benefits? Two words per day, 60 words per month, 720 per year. And did you know that back in the days, the typical Czechoslovak bacha, sheep shepherd, had a vocabulary of 200 words per life. And you will have 720 per year with a minimal time investment. And he was okay, he survived. So you will not survive, you will thrive. And if ever you miss a day or two, or even a week, with two words per day, it's still possible to catch up after a week in 42 minutes, 14 words. So besides the planner or agenda, you will need a suitable writing tool. I made some experiments. I advise a simple pencil, which you need to sharpen, or the automatic one, if you have one, because according to the thickness of your paper, it might show for the next week when you turn the page. And it looks a little bit messy and cuts out a bit of that pleasure. Because as you know me, I am always after pleasure and if I have to learn something then I give myself a maximum of pleasure while doing it because you know my memory works much better. Phone or a computer and a Wi-Fi because you will do some research when you are um, associating and always always research the gender if it is a noun gender very important and now demonstration let's write down the famous first word on the white page what could it be what do i feel for girls what will be my actions of the day for boys what do i feel i feel passion passion about transmitting you this idea of mine, associative vocabulary. I feel radost, joy, and I feel luck, pressure, if I will be able to convey uh, the idea. So you have your words, now play the detective. Research the gender. When you have the gender, don't satisfy yourself just writing uh, in brackets, fan, mask, new. Use demonstrative pronouns. There are only three for this exercise. Ten for masculine, ta for feminine, and to for neuter. Ten, ta, to. Not very difficult. And it will be extremely useful in the daily colloquial and the correct speech 
in Czech, they are really very widely used. Demonstrative pronouns. Ten, ta, to. Ta vášeň, ta radost, ten tlak. And now, action. Ta posilovna, for gym. To řízení, for the action of driving. To pivo, for beer. I have my three words. Final thoughts. For now, always specify the gender. For the others, specify the category. Is it a verb, a preposition, an adverb, a numeral? If your new word is an adjective, bear in mind it needs to take into account the gender. Modri, wise. This is a masculine, modri, muž. If I need a feminine, modra, žena. Neuter, modré, dítě. So, always put the suffixes after your adjective. A, I, E. Consider this vocabulary as an experiment, an adventure. And think of it not only just a sum of words, a number. Think of it as a function. Because you will learn much more than just two words per day. You will become very efficient in research and you will ask much more questions and you will learn much more. So it's really a function of uh, correlated questions and knowledge and skills you will be in a daily contact with. And also make some space for revisions. So maybe a day or two where you will go back and see what you have learned the last week or the last month. And do it even if you had a bad day, even if you travel, even if you're feeling like doing something else, Netflix. You will be proud and you will be happy later. You will really feel empowered when you flick back the pages after a week, after two weeks, after a month, it will be, wow, I know all this. And even if you think, oh, I write it down, but then I forgot. It's the feeling is there, but there is a path somewhere in your brain, which has been already set. Now you need to go several times through that path. You know, imagine it like a jungle, the, the path in the jungle, they, some of them, are wonderful and so easy to walk. Others have been abandoned for some reason by elephants or tigers, and they are much difficult to, to follow. And every time you write down a new word, you are making through the jungle of the absence of knowledge a path. And then there will be so many paths in your brain with new knowledge, new words. The constant revival of your um, knowledge and of what you have learned will lead to create like highways in your brain. Just do it. And I would like to have regular updates about your progress. If you have questions, doubts, whatever, send me a message. Write in the comments. We use associations as natural classifiers of memory. Think of it like an engine. Without associations, the memory is like a trabant. With associations in place, the memory becomes nothing. Krásné studentky a krásní studenti, děkuji vám za pozornost. Hodně štěstí a brzy nashledanou.